Hello? Hello. Have we got things functioning? Looks like it. Okay. We've moved to Twitch. It seems to be working. Let me know if it's not. Although you can't hear me, so it's completely moot. Mute. Moot. Moot. Okay, okay, okay. I can see that people are actually here, but just very surreptitiously. Alright. I guess we get going. Back on our epic quest to, to feel emotional pain. Can I see the chat? Okay, sweet. Right. If you'll uh, recall, last time we made it up to... We, we finally made it past the section with all those fucking leaves. What the hell was that? And uh, got to the part of the game wherein uh, you actually get up to the destroyed plane. So we'll just have to... What is that? Oh my god. Not again, please. I'm begging you. I don't know if I can take that kind of psychological hello. Nope. Um, okay. How do I use it? How do I use it, King? Oh. <laughs> Alright. First death. Has somebody got the CinemaSins ding going? I'm just trying to see if I can get my hands on actually being able to see the chat room. Alright, okay, no messages. Well, that'll make things easier. It's easy to moderate the chat room when, uh, there's nothing happening. Right. Okay. Gotta get my bearings once again. Can I get up there? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's a waste of the golden apple that I picked up. Hello, King. How's it going? A rope is always useful. Yeah. Okay, King. Can I go inside? Okay, a rope is always useful, that's good to know. I'll try and find one of those. No! Oh god, okay. Every week I come here and I've already forgotten the controls from last time. If you're wondering why I'm being even stupider than usual. Come on, short king. I feel like I should be able to get up there, but apparently not. <laughs> I think we're back to squ <laughs> Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I think we're back to square one of me being stupid. Uh, hold on, I'm just trying to get my stupid Twitch chat thing set up so that I can read your damn messages. If there are indeed any. And I don't know that because I'm in game. Stupid.
Okay. All right, short king. I keep calling him a short king because while I have not at all seen any canonical heights for Tintin, I'm willing to assume that he's really short. Considering how tiny he looks next to all the others. Scott, okay. How do I use this magnificent piece of equipment? I only have a couple of buttons, fam. Anyway, I can go inside, so that's something. Oh. <laughs> I did that last time! Thought I would just quickly send something into the chat to see if anyone's around. And if not, I'm gonna sit here and continue minding my own damn business. Come on, Tauntaun. Yeah, I did that last time too. It was just as stupid that time. Right, had it. I mean, he's right. A rope is always useful, but... How does that pertain to my current situation, mate? <laughs> Fuck, I keep forgetting that's there. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Watching me play this is basically just machine learning. Except possibly slower. Okay, 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 okay. So I, in the beautiful country that I call home, the uh, lockdown has just ended because we're down to very, very minimal number of cases per day. So I am, I spent the last week going back home to visit family who I obviously haven't seen in months because travel's really restricted here. Oh, I, did, I meant to save, not load, but I did it out of muscle memory because of how many times I've died. Okay. Um, ended up going back home to visit family and just as importantly visit my doggies. Uh, I have two dogs, but I don't get to see them very often because they live out in the countryside and I do not. Oh god, that was stupid. Um, and so I've been taking the week off. Should I have been working on my asterisk piece? Sure, why not? Definitely, actually. But, uh, you know, at least I got some good R&R &R in. Every single one of the asterisk uh, pieces is taking way longer than I initially calculate, which is uh, not very professional of me. But, you know. Okay, I got whipped in the head, but at least I didn't fall down that hole. Wait. Wait. Oh. Well, I got excited there for a moment, but it turns out it was unfounded. Okay. An ice pick is always useful. Okay, but how do I use my ice pick? I made it to the plane. I made it to the plane. Hello, good to see you. We thought that I would never make it this far, and I genuinely didn't expect me to make it this far, but we have actually made it into the Tibetan mountains where the story is set. Like, I... I remain confused as to what... Okay. I made it to the plane, but at what cost? Come on, mate. I don't even know what I'm looking for in here. A rope? I am glad I switched to Twitch, though. It already is running way, 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 way better than the um, YouTube was. And it was making oh. it was making me go slightly insane. So, I have four separate little chopped up videos from last week, which are, you know, you want these things to be one video. I was considering downloading them and uh, ch and cutting them together because in the for the name of sanity and simplicity. But how do I grab this without getting smacked in the head? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, we are already making the the face. The hell is it called again? Poggers? Is it Poggers? I'm not a Twitch person. I've never really used Twitch before. If necessary, I am prepared to put up an OnlyFans if that makes me a real Twitch user, but you guys are only going to get pictures of, like, my feet or whatever. Ah, forgot about that again. Big brain time. Okay. Big brain time. All right. I'll actually pay attention this time instead of sitting there thinking about selling pictures of my feet. Uh, I am really confused because about how these things that are dangling from the ceiling are causing tint and catastrophic brain damage, but at this point I'm willing to accept. I don't really understand why Poggers is a meme either. I suppose the face is funny. Oh my god, I just threw that fucking thing just straight down the hole. Well, that's... And I just threw my fucking self right down the hole. It's not that this section is actually difficult. <laughs> it's not that this section is actually difficult, it's just really fiddly. Just like everything else in this fucking game. Tintin is a glass tank. I don't even know if I'd call him a tank. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the purpose of that is to prop that flappy thing out of the way, but... I think I'm supposed to be timing it so I stop getting smacked in the head, but to be honest, I'm not smart enough to do that. Maybe if I pay more attention and stop thinking about other stuff. Lucky me, now that we've gone down a lockdown level, I'm actually like... Oh, balls. Now that I've gone down a uh, lockdown level, I can actually go to university and my life kind of feels like it's normal again. Me and my pa were supposed to head overseas this year and go and uh, see the world, and I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not going to do that, but I guess we're just going to go and travel New Zealand. He can lift a giant piece of metal easy, I suppose. He is just sort of like, yeah, you know, it's freezing cold and I'm har carrying this massive beam. I'm going to throw it down a hole. It'll be fine. The, the pole does nothing! He's super ripped, but super pathetic, so I- Oh my god. Like I said, this game has two buttons, and sometimes I miss those two buttons, and then nothing happens, and I just comically fall down that hole with the familiar- Oh! Sound. I'm pretty sure the function of the beam is to throw it so it blocks that swingy thing, but like- <laughs> In short, this It does suck. I think- the reason I'm willing to justify this game in any way is because I really like how it looks, but if I'm going to be honest with myself, everything that isn't the appearance of this game is terrible. And I can't decide whether to blame that on the fact it was sort of the crazy 90s, or if it was just like... Okay. Oh my god, I have picked up a rope. Hello? Could I have gone in through back the entire time. No, okay, no. Hey mate. Fellow short king. I can hear snowy. Okay. Honestly, part of the reason I'm still playing this game is I think it's pretty, and also I think it's funny to continuously fail, obviously, but I just think it looks nice. And I'm a sucker for a pretty face. Haddock is legit just watching me get smacked in the head by a whole bunch of stuff and doing absolutely nothing. Also, if anyone knows how to use the the ice pick and the rope, I'd love to hear it. Um, because I don't know. As I said, only a few buttons in this game. I'm just going to press a bunch of them and... Uh, okay, that did absolutely nothing. Sweet, good to know. Glad I raised my expectations for that. Maybe... Yo, where did my mans go? How do I... <laughs> I'm gonna run out of time at this rate. I'm out of time. I'm out of touch. Uh, uh. You can't see this because I have a touchscreen computer, but I'm uh, rapidly prodding my screen in the desperate hope that poking the rope a symbol on my screen will actually do something. This is not the case. 
And also, if I want to get back up, I have to... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, if I want to get back up, I have to... Wait, did I save after I grabbed the rope? Oh, thank fuck. I was kind of worried when I switched to Twitch, though, that people wouldn't be able to find it, find this, only because, like... Wait! Wait! What the, what did I do? And yeah, no, there's, the chat's pretty quiet aside from you, buddy. And uh, so I'm suspecting that I, you have to have a certain number of subscribers to post on your YouTube channel that you're doing something. Hence why I couldn't, but I would have. Oh well, they'll figure it out or they won't. I, d I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Why am I just gently spooning this piece of snow? Oh god. Please. I don't understand what you want from me. Oh, there are two other people watching. I can't see that from here. Bless. If you're frustrated looking at this, I'm equally frustrated living this out, by the way. Um, I can, if I jump up there, I can sometimes activate the, the ice pick, but through what function I'm doing that, I could not tell you. Because as I said, there's only two buttons! I'm gonna run out of time! No! Please don't make me look at Calculus's disapproving face again. I don't want to do that. Oh, balls. Oh. Double balls. Doubles. Seriously, if it... <laughs> There's only up, down, left, right. Okay, I'm out of time. I'm out of touch. It's out of touch Tuesday. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that, man. It's not my fault. There, there must be a way to climb up there using the pickaxe. Like, obviously, but... It's not that that's the problem, it's the fact that I don't know what any of these bloody buttons are telling me to do. <laughs> like, okay, jump. Yeah. If you press right onto them, you start entering the spoon position uh, on the snow. But, if you press down, you leave, and then there's none of the buttons, <laughs> none of the buttons do anything. <laughs> All I can get to do is this. Oops, I accidentally paused it while pressing all the buttons on my damn keyboard. And turned off the music. I can just hear Haddock's voice now asking me what the fuck I'm doing. You're allowed to say fuck on Twitch. And I... <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. And, like, I can see the same sort of handy footholdy shapes over there, but I can't get up to there from here. Uh... <laughs> time is running out. Are there any other shapes like this? I'm going to run out of time regardless, so I'll just have a look around. Yeah, there's another one up there, which makes me feel like perhaps I'm supposed to use this to sort of grasp the sides of things. Yeah, there's more there. Okay, that's not going to do me any good. I'm not going through the plane again. The controls are not real. It's more of a state of mind than anything else playing this game, I think. Like, it's more of an emotional experience than it is a video game. I refer to it as like, you know, Sisyphus cr pushing his rock up the ro hill for all eternity. That's me, except I'm pushing Tintin up the small, slowy snow. Small, snowy slope. Oh my god, Tintin, don't do this to me. Oh, 
No! I want to stand on the platform. I want to turn around. I want to jump higher up. Okay, no, that's not good. Wait! What was that? <gasps> you have to limp it onto the side and then hold a button and then... Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I was happy there for a split second. Um... You have to sort of limp it your way up the rock, but you have to press some sequence of buttons that was not immediately obvious to me. So you have to, and then you have to, and then you have to, yeah. Oh, balls. So press right to attach to rock, press up, and then hit C. And then get taken out by some random piece of shite flying your way. Yeah. God, I try my best, but I do not succeed. Um... Uh, this kind of feels like old school arcade games where people would just like memorize weird sequences of uh, moves in order to make the game make sense. I feel like I'm doing that right now. Why would you make that the control to climb up the hill? Oh, balls. Okay. I think I've decided that balls is my family friendly swear word I'm going to use. Here in New Zealand, we have a few more crispy words than that, but I'll uh, behave myself. Oh. So I was waiting for it, but it didn't come. Okay. It doesn't. <laughs> I'm forever running up that hill. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of the way, bitch. Yeah. By mash. All I'm learning right now is that ba button mashing. Yes. Yes, I'm making it. Button mashing can, in fact, take you far in life. All right. Huh? No, 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 no! Bro, that was like literally like a pebble. A pebble that hit him in the ankles and he's just like, I guess I'm dead now. I guess that's fine. I guess there's no problem with me just lying here in the snow and giving up and admitting defeat and holding my back like an old man. Like Chag needs you, dude. Don't worry about rocks. Little pebbles aren't gonna do anything to you, man. It's a state of mind. Oh boy. Oh balls. Man says a lot of Achilles heels. His entire body is just an Achilles heel. At least we have figured out this much. Okay. Nope. Haha. -ha. I feel competent. Uh Yeah. The process of machine learning holds true once again. Um, can, can, can I go down the rope? Please may I go down the rope. Hello. Hello, rope. <laughs> mm. No, okay. Stop pickaxing things. Go down, down. Down, you accursed little man. Wait, I'm supposed to swing. That's why I'm being stupid. Okay. That's fine. This is fine. I didn't even want to go across <laughs> on the rope anyway. Like, I don't- I'm not a big fan of sort of the situation in a lot of super modern games where it sort of really holds your hand and gently tells you how to do every single command, but... But how do I grab the damn rope? Like, that was one of the reasons I stopped playing the Pokemon games. It's something I liked about the older games, is they just kind of leave you to fend for yourself. But, um... There's such a thing as not telling me jack shit. I'm gonna run out of time again. It's impossible to tell how wide these platforms actually count as. What if I... What button? Uh... Hello? You can switch characters? How do you switch characters? I want to switch characters! <laughs> um, my game just crashed. Give me a second, I will, uh, reopen it. Why? Why? No. 
Okay, so, but that's probably on the, like, SNES controls. And anyway, I'm sorry, I better open up the game again. Um, I've just, I've been hitting every c control like crazy on my computer now, but that doesn't mean I, I might check my setup and just have a look and see what key that, the B key is. Because, as I've said in the past, I actually set it up to play, um, uh, Earthbound. Last, I think. Yeah, Earthbound. Because I'm a very predictable person and I really like Earthbound. Okay, con config. No, okay, that's not it. Input, yeah. So my B key is... It's B. Uh, and my Y key is C. Those are the two keys I've been using. <laughs> Those are the only two keys. Start is G, that's why it's been pausing. Select is X. What about... And then space, okay. Okay. Haddock, will you switch characters with me? Come here, come here. No, I don't want to talk to you. It won't, I, I, I've, I've, I've tried pressing the two buttons, one or the other, and then both at the same time, and there's only two buttons, so I don't really know where to go from there. Haha, I'm an expert now, I can do this. Yeah, I'm not an expert. I was using a GameSpot guide. Uh, call me naive, but what's the implication of that? But also, I, I, I don't doubt you can change characters, although it might be later in the game, but um, the controls are less than sort of... Oh, fuck, I keep forgetting. Less than explanatory. Also, I don't know if I want to play as Haddock, because I feel like his constitution may be even weaker than Tintin's, given that he spent the entire game sitting there abs doing absolutely jack fucking nothing. Not to roast Haddock too hard or anything, but, like, he's just sitting there while I'm climbing all over the place. He just suggested to me vaguely that I might want to get a rope. I'm going to save it here. I'm sick of climbing up this thing. Haha. -ha. Alright, let's... Let us see. Haddock is a lazy bitch. I don't want to be too harsh to Haddock, but Haddock is a lazy bitch. Alright. Place your bets, lads. What the fuck button do you think will allow us to grab this rope? It wasn't that one. If I press C. Hey, 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 hey. Hello. Hello, how do I let go? Okay. <laughs> how did he get that much for? Oh my god, okay. I don't even remember what button I pressed in order to make that happen, but holy shit, he just got launched. Nope. Okay. Is this painful to watch? It's painful to exist like this. If I jump in... You can do it without Haddock. It's probably good, because I can't figure out how to become Haddock. What the... What button is it? Is this torture to watch? Is the music annoying? It's annoying me too. I'm just sick of climbing up the damn hill. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me let me go. No, I don't want <laughs> I don't want to be let go back here. I wanna go now. I think it's like a mixture of Okay, it's not that. Oh wait, you can't hear the music? I should be able to rectify that. Ah, um. uh, let's leave it for the minute. It's very uh, monotonic music. It's not very exciting. And also it keeps stopping and starting as I stop and start, so that's annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> What did I press to make it happen? I've just been sitting here smashing buttons and now I don't know. If I press all of the buttons at once, surely it'll do something. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Come on, short king. Hey. 
Stop putting me back here. I want to go over there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This, it, yeah, if this hurts to watch, it hurts me. <laughs> you know what? Kill me. Just kill me. Take it out. Okay. <laughs> the fuck button did I press? <laughs> Is it a matter of timing it correctly? Running up that hill. <sighs> okay. Huh? Stop it, I want to go back to the other side. I'm suffering so much right now. I didn't even try that time, I just fucking fell off. I don't even remember what bloody button I was using. It all happened so fast. I'm keeping Tintin in purgatory. Welcome to hell, little kid. I just want to see something different for once. I wonder how the hell you get over there. Because I can see the little, like, climbing marks there. Anyway. Oh, God. Kill me. They don't say Jack. Yeah, I've, I've a couple of times while I've been sitting here, I've been resorting to looking at walkthroughs, and the walkthroughs are just like, uh, you know, you just do the thing. How do you do it? I don't know, just do it. You gotta go over here, do that. Wait. <laughs> it was B and up. No! 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 I wanted to be up there! I'll go to hell. Okay, it's B and up. Maybe it's not. I just don't understand how to also let go. Seems kind of random, but... I don't want to let go here. I want to go to the other side. Why would I let go? <laughs> That's exactly it. This is completely poggers, mate. This is off-the-wall poggers. This is just nightmarish torture. And the thing is, is like once I finish this game, I know I'm going to go and do the other ones. Like... All I'm thinking about once they finish this is, hey, uh, we you know I'll do the Prisoners of the Sun every time. <laughs> Thank you for ma loyally making the Poggers face. Um, I think, oh, well, after this I could do Prisoners of the Sun. It's like, why would I want to do that? Ha! 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 I did it. No, I want to, I, no, no, I want to go up. Let me up. No! This isn't very poggers. You know what? There's a game for the 2011 movie. Yeah, I've heard that and I've been thinking about it. And 
I really enjoy just doing like a weekly stream of these games, just like setting a time of the week to have people turn up and just chat for a bit, which is quite fun. Um, and so I guess I'll eventually get around to the 2011 game once I run out of other... Oh my god. Once I run out of other ideas. So I've finished one stupid repetitive task. Now let's do another one. How do I not fall down there? No, I want to go up. I want to go up. I want to go up. Bitch. How do I stop myself from just sliding aimlessly down? Who am I? What am I doing? What part of the universe have I fallen into? No, I want to go up. I want to go up. I want to go up. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay. How do I, like, activate... I don't know, I feel like I should be swinging my pickaxe, but I just slide on my ass down this hill. Like, I can do that, sure. But what next? That's not helping, man. Yeah, do you think those GameSpot articles are written for people who are as stupid as me? Or are they like, yeah, you probably know how to play a video game. This is fine. Is there a momentum mechanic? Not really. Um, there, are, I wouldn't go as so far as to say that there are many mechanics in this game. <laughs> like, as I said, I'm dealing with a exactly... I've got six buttons that I can press in different orders or together if I want to, but that doesn't mean it'll do anything. I can I can crouch and then hit the ground. Whack. I can stand here. I can jump. I can look up. Wait, no, I can't. I can't even change my field of view at all. No, no. No. See, I, yeah, you'd think I'd be able to do something, but literally all I can do is just jump up. Am I missing something over here, maybe? No. Okay, that's right. There's this fucking thing. Not even if I hit it with a pickaxe does something happen. Let's just accept death for the minute. I still, I just cannot stop thinking about how, uh, the, hard, the fastest ever speed run for this game is 22 minutes. I can't. Like, yeah, and I understand that it'll be somebody who's actually, like, good at what they're doing. Have I tried pre pressing the pickaxe button once I get there? Yeah, I've been trying to do that. So, pickaxe button only works if you crouch first. Which is, but you can't crouch when you're sliding down. And But I was thinking, you know, maybe you have to spoon the hill, like you spooned the last hill. Um, ugh. But, like, I can't just leap over there and have pickaxe when I'm there. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright. There's a Game Boy version. Yeah, I saw that. And I do have a Game Boy emulator. And I thought to myself, what could possibly make this game worse? Playing it on a fucking Game Boy. But, I decided to go with SNES because the graphics looked a lot prettier. Because... SNES has very, very pretty graphics. Okay. We're back. I think. I am truly running up that hill. Anyway. Everything's working again. My life has started again. Alright, 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 alright. I apologize for the delay. It's partly that this game is terrible, but it's also partly that my computer is... I got it in 2015, and I'm not... Unfortunately, I am not kind to my computers. Why is this... What? So what What happened was, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, the computer crashed so hard that my emulator reset. Like, it, it did like a factory reset. We're lucky my save game is still here, but I do have to put some of my keys back to where they were. Um, B was B. 
and I think X was C. Uh, and I don't think the rest of these really matter what they are because um, they don't do anything. Balls. I've paused it now, but because I've been fucking around with my- wait! Okay, enter is now paused, we can do that. We can jump. We can suffer. Wait, wrong key. I think it was my uh, Y key that was the one that I need. So I'll set X to the G, I don't know. It doesn't really fucking matter, does it? Alright. Yes, we have the, our couple of keys back. Oh. You are very, you guys are very, very lucky that this game wasn't completely deleted because that was what I thought happened for a second and I felt my blood run cold. No, well, okay. Come on, momentum. Come on, the three of us are probably reasonably smart people. Surely this will work. Yeah. No, it can't quite take you far enough. Okay. Frankly, I just can't believe my computer booted up fast enough. That was pretty good, but... How do I use my ice axe on the surface? Holding down the ice axe button does nothing. Maybe start running on the edge of the first platform and carry it through. I think you may be overestimating how good the momentum mechanics are in this game, but yeah. Normally if I felt like it would do anything, I would do it, but I just... Oh god. Like, should I be collecting this rope? Anyway. That was just pure me incompetence that had nothing to do with the game. Yeah, that was again the exact same issue. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to work only because I'm pretty sure that momentum in this game means literally nothing. Emphasis on the lich part because I'm dead. Okay, so down and then C, or Y, is the pickaxe button. Can I do that on the... That does nothing! See, I was still pressing it. Let me... How can I not go around this? Please, I just want to... Come on, Tintin. You can do it, buddy. Hold down Y. Yeah. Okay. I will give that... Like, uh, the, the year was not cynicism from me at you. It was cynicism that the game can do things. Y? Hold down Y? No. Okay. Hold down Y and B. Hold down just B. I mean, the rope thing was like pressing B and up together, so maybe it needs to be something weird like that. Oh my god, it was! It was C, it was the pickaxe button, Y, and up together. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Anyway, hit me with those poggers, because boy oh boy did that just work. C and up. Yes! Yes! King! Until I yeah, get hit in the ankles by that small pebble and die. Haha. -ha. I can hear a dog. Arr. It can be done! It can! It can! I was a cynic until I saw the light. I'm saving right here. I'm not doing that shit again. Uh. <laughs> Can you guys hear the audio from this? Hello? Guys, we did it. Um. Ha ha! I can you hear the audio. Okay. Give me a sec. I'll just tweak that. Great, another level. <laughs> I know I'm only halfway through the book so far and I'm just like, oh man, 
another fucking level. All right, let's uh, add some. See if we can get the desktop audio going. Oh, you selfish little motherfucker! What was that about? Huh? I still okay. I still have that. Like I love the I love the aesthetic of this game. Why does it have to be terrible? And also, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I just got stabbed in the butt. Great. Where am I? Here! Yeah, leave me alone! Yeah! Are there even bats up in the, in the Himalayas? Can I kill you? Can I. Pickaxe my way up here. Yeah, the shading is fantastic. Why did these games look so good? Yeah. Uh, the budget was 99% spent on making the games look fresh as fuck. And 0% spent on making the game actually playable. I remain confused. Yeah, like all the different sprite animations and stuff as well are really cool. I think they're really fun, fresh, funky, all of those things. What happens if I just do myself fall down here? Can I fall down? Let me in. Hey, hey. That's cool. No, uh, okay. I don't know what that noise that came out of my mouth was. Anyway, that's called using your noodle. What about, can I? Okay, no, I'm just gonna smack my face into that rock. That's fine. Go on, Tintin. I don't want to get stabbed. Yeah, well, I mean, like, if he just pulled out a photorealistic gun right now, I'd be a lot more comfortable. Oh, I just got stabbed in the ass again. Eh. Like, I can't believe my man's is getting killed by leaves and bats when I know he usually keeps that thing on him. Come on, mate. Come on. Yeah. I think it figured we'd be able to- uh -huh. If you're wondering what the noises coming out of my mouth are, I do not know. And I may never know. <laughs> Can I- How do I get up there? I think this is some kind of, like, elaborate rock puzzle where you have to move around rocks so you can use them as platforms, but- Oh, Jesus. I- this is my controversial opinion. I don't think that the that tension works that well in 3D. Like the 2011 movie was okay. I do need to rewatch it. Don't let me forget to do that. But I don't know. I just feel like the 2D art feels like it's it's going a lot harder. Tintin in, is nothing in life without his photorealistic guns. Right, I'm back down here. I'm dealing with that bat. I'm running up that hill. I'm getting messages on my phone from people that I uh, don't want to talk to right now. Because I'm playing Tintin. No, 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 move! Go! Ah, fuck! He was too busy spooning the fucking rocks. Yeah, I'm also a big stand for 2D animation. Most of my favorite- oh, balls. Most of my favorite animated movies are 2D. I really should save when I'm down there. But anyway, back into the precipice of hell. Also, I just think that Tintin's bizarre- like, it looks- he's stylized, and his looks are perfectly good when it comes to, like, a 2D medium, because stylization works so well in 2D. I don't even know why I'm bothering to grab this apple. All I'm doing is losing out by getting attacked by bats. Anyway, um... Like, he works so well because he's stylized, but it's that same stylization that made it 
look weird when they just went for full photorealism. Yeah, you said it at the exact same time as me. It's the the full photorealism that makes the um, 3D versions ugly. Like, three stylized 3D could look really nice for old Tintin. But instead they insist on doing the most, and by that I mean the worst. By trying to make him realistic? Man, he's got a head shaped like a fucking egg. He's never going to look good realistic. His head is perfectly spherical. His hair, hair makes no sense. Stylize that shit. Oi, boys. Uh, oi, ve. Ah, oh, I forgot to save while I was down there. I am but a simple idiot. It's really hard to activate the grabbing onto the rock motion for some reason. I don't know whose genius design choice that was, but yeah, the game is harder than it should be for no reason. Try backtracking at the beginning. That would have been smart. And now I'm down this hole. I don't want the apple if it means getting attacked by bats. You sort of have to get him to latch on to the hill, but that's really clunky. Unlike everything else in this game, which is totally not clunky at all and definitely not a problem. Okay. Snowy! This is a maze. Like, I'm happy about that, because that's actually good game design. But, like, I'm not really happy about anything else. No! 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 Ah! Is the goal to collect the apples? I don't think so. I think I'm supposed to be following Snowy to the far right side of the cave. The apples are just good because they give you a bit of extra life. Ah. Genuinely, Tintin, that thing was the size of a pe pebble and you just stood there and let it take away a 25th... A 25th... A quarter of your health. 25%. I don't like it. Yeah! Wait. Aha. But can I pick it up? Or can I just stand on it? Okay. I suppose Hergé, it would be good if Hergé was alive to help with the movies, but I guess... I kind of am not that excited about the other, like, live-action movies that he did work on. They're just, I mean, they're, they're okay. Well, I've... You know, I probably shouldn't say that until I've actually read them, which I haven't. I've just read the, like, book versions of them. So, let's ignore my opinion on them. <laughs> It's not valid. Yeah, the goal's not to collect apples, it just seems that that's a lot easier than actually doing the level. Stupid ass rock. No! Climb up! Uh, uh, <laughs> that's the only emotion that I feel at this point. Okay. He latches on and then it's hard to unlatch him so that you don't... <sighs> I don't like saying the phrase that Tintin latches on, actually. I, I regret saying that and I won't say it again. Okay, okay, okay. They were probably alright for the 60s, yeah. Just like this game is probably alright for the 90s. I mean, in, anything's gotta be better than like the E.T. game or whatever the fuck it was that completely destroyed gaming. I think I have somebody who was planning on playing through that, I don't remember. It's all the blur. Hey! I see another apple. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Yes? Yes! Eh? Uh? Oh, well. The problem is, it's like, yeah, yay, I've got an apple, but now I have to go all the way fucking around again just to get attacked by more goddamn bats. It isn't worth it. I'll probably lose the health. Yeah, there we go. I'll probably lose the health that I got from the apple within about five seconds. I really think that before Tintin did this, he should have gone to the doctor and been like, do I have any pre-existing health conditions, like fucking brittle bone disease that would prevent me from going for a hike up in the mountains? 
No disrespect to people with brittle bone disease, of course, but uh, it's generally recommended that they don't do what Tintin's doing. And uh, he's not doing great. The 90s did have better games. Um, I, I say this mostly because my whole brand, the whole Ampton thing, is from a very uh, formative 90s game called the Commander Keen series, which I was obsessed with as a youth. Still kind of am now. Um, I'm just going to save here. And uh, wait, there's a life up there. I can see it. Oh. Oh, balls. Uh -huh. um, and I am determined to do a playthrough of those at some point just because I'm that sort of, I guess, obsessed with them. How do I... I want to be up there. But I am not. Go on, little man. Latch on. Climb up. The rock does something. I completely agree. Can I push it over so that it goes down there? Because then I could stand on it. This is... I, I Just when I thought the game couldn't add any really annoying mechanics, it did that. So, can I... I can't pick it up. I can't hit it with a pickaxe. The rock want to be held. That rock does look like it's important, in the same way that when you watch like an old school Disney movie, you're like, oh. That thing looks slightly different from the background, I'm sure it's important. Um... Uh... <laughs> Come here, little rock. Wait, what? What the... Also, this isn't even the right way to go. This is just a fucking life. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to have a life, but also... Um... Where is my dog? Anyway, yeah, that rock... It just sort of slid away into the distance. I don't really know. It lagged out. Sorry. I just jumped on the rock and it just sort of glided awkwardly down the down the slope, providing me with just enough lift for me to be able to make it onto the platform, but that was one of the stranger looking animations the game has had so far. Okay, I can't go back that way. I've got to go down the hole. Oh my god! Bro, I just got another life, leave me alone. Yeah, that skateboarding mechanic- oh my god, I'm out of time. <laughs> I love that echoed uh sound as he uh, admits defeat. Okay, yeah, I think I'm fucked on this level only because I've gotten such a small amount of time left from running around like a madman that I don't think it's possible for me to finish the level. This game would be a lot easier if the levels weren't inexplicably timed. There is a time limit just to make life a lot less fun. Like, they were like, what would make this game slightly more annoying to play? Oh, we'll just add a time limit that's not that bad, but it definitely stops you from being able to do whatever. Look, I'm gonna run out of- uh, I'm gonna run out of time, but I'm just gonna scoot around this level a bit to see if I can find anything that might shed some light. We have learned some things, and that is worth having, I think. If you'll allow me to be philosophical in that way. It's the time until Tintin freezes death. Yeah, but it was also happening when he was in the motel. Or hotel. <laughs> I love the oh! sound as he, uh, his life ends. Is that cruel of me, perhaps? I don't think it's possible for me to finish this level in the time that remains to me, but... Oh, my butt. I guess we'll just have to see. That's not the way to go. Is it worth heading back up there, or do I want to go this way? This is not the way to go. I'm a fool. I've gone the wrong way, and I will run out of time before I rectify my sins. I agree. We need to find the way back up. All I've actually achieved so far is getting my hands on that life. Which is, I mean, kind of moot if I run out of time so that I'm no longer able to use it. I'm out of time. He's gonna... 
the reverb. Like, I think the reverb is just because we're in a cave, but it's so much funnier than it should be. I think I do have to take the L, but I'm in denial. Yeah, that's not the right way to go. Leave me alone! Stupid ass bat. Oh, I can see my time running out. Wait. Ah! This is important. You can move these rocks around. I am gonna have to, as I said, take the L, but... But I've learned something. <laughs> okay. Take the L, start the level again. Let's do this. Selfish little dog. Okay. L, take it. I'm trapped in this cave forever. No, I feel like I have a clarity of purpose now. Let's do this. Do I? Or am I just being a ditz? I think I'm just being a ditz. Ah, I forgot about that. Let me just... I totally forgot that this isn't the way to go. Never mind. Uh... Because you can actually move the little stone in front of the rock and then it rolls away and that's useful, you know. Now that I'm looking at the reset level I literally can't remember how to get where I have been already. Wait. Yes. Oh balls, I tried to run around that. It just fell really slow. Pfft, forgot about that too. Break that one ground part, release the rock from above. I think the rocks just break the ground. But yes, we do need to do that. Eh, uh, apple. Apple. The skateboard rocks up there. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, <sighs> oh, balls. Ah, oh, balls. Nyeh! All hail the life-giving apple. Nope. Oh, boss. I've decided that that's my family appropriate swear word that I'm going with. There we go. Is that bat feeling okay? Maybe it has rabies. But anyway. No, give me that. Yeah. Can I throw it at the bat? Uh, okay, I can't. Well, it was worth a shot. Okay. Where did the boulder go? Presumably down. It broke that. I can... I stand on the boulder. I go up here. We're up here now. I'm on one hit point. But, here we are. Yeah, sorry about my accent. It's the one I was born with, so I can't really just stop talking like this, but yeah, balls. There we go. Um. <laughs> I feel like I'm perhaps supposed to be on the other side of that. So we need a rock here. Is that... How do we do that? Oh, you like my accent? <laughs> Thank you. I don't get that that often. People sometimes find uh, Kiwi accents to be a bit kind of grating, and I don't blame them. I've been back in my hometown and everybody there talks quite redneck, even more so than I do. The necks are red. But at least we're better than Australians. My one saving grace. 
What is that thing up there just spitting stones at me? God. Okay. Kiwi's excellent. Where are you from, Matt? I always like hearing different people's accents. <laughs> Midwest US. I was actually... Uh, I wish I knew what specifically Midwest meant, but... I, used, I was about to move to the US for university a while ago. And I was supposed to be moving to Idaho. Although I didn't end up getting the scholarship that I applied for, but I was... Oh god. Very excited. We say y'all, but not yaint. <laughs> Sorry, ain't. I, th I might understand that. I'm not sure if I understand that, but that's okay. Where I currently live now, which is like the capital of New Zealand, it has a much sort of more cityish accent and I kind of switch between my own natural one and this- oh, balls, I keep doing that- and the city one, sort of subconsciously. It feels weird. Like I've been back home and so my accent's a bit stronger than usual because I've just been like denying my heritage. Uh, <laughs> Stop throwing rocks at me. Mysterious lump of rocks on the ceiling. Tinge of southern but not really noticeable. Yeah. I don't know my American accents that well, I guess. Like, it's obvious when it's southern or when it's New York or something like that. Uh, but aside from that, I'm kind of clueless. I'm just gonna... Oh, balls. That bat's just gonna start going apeshit in a sec. Oh. I wish I could kill this bat with this rock, but I can't, and I'm very sad about that. Although it's a very brutal thing for me to say. What? Is that a glitch? Is there supposed to be a hole there? Hello! I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. Note my use of the word pretty sure. <laughs> Hello, ghost. It is nice to see you. Um, we are... What are we doing, lads? <laughs> I'm suffering, but that's my job. No, stop it. No, crouch. And cr crouch and crawl. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, it's almost definitely a glitch. You actually see that kind of glitch with, a, with like, tiling and generating the background really often in this type of game, but it's still funny. <laughs> I still... Oh. I still do not know where the exit to this game is or what the objective of the- where the exit to this level is or what the objective of this level is. Like, I've just been crawling around- Man, you'd think I'd be able to avoid the bat, bat by now. Um, I've just been crawling around doing jack fucking nothing for a while now. Hoping every time I discover a new area that this might be the new area that <laughs> sheds some light into what the hell I'm doing. The aesthetic is all this game has. Take me up. So yeah, I can get to here. <laughs> no! Okay, crawl. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Behave. The skateboard rock- yeah, I can carry the pickup rock around, but I don't think I can do anything with it that I know of. I hate this fucking bat. Skateboard rock was to get to that one- to get to that life. Which I successfully did. But I don't really want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ah! I'll take this rock with me. You never know when you're going to need a rock. Ah, okay. It's real you can't slide down while holding the rock. All this rock does is give you access to this part of the level. But, um... If you know what I'm supposed to be doing in this part of the level, please tell me, because I don't. Except for getting hit in the head with a boulder. Which I don't want to happen again. Stop it! Ah! Oh, 
Oh, I can climb. I can climb. Very slowly. Get stabbed in the ass. Oh, we got stabbed in the hand. I can pick up pickaxe up the slope. Let's do this. Do it once more time. One more time, baby. I feel like, unlike a lot of the other levels, this this cave is just very perplexing. But yeah, I think I figured out what I have to do. I have to pick up the slope without dying, which is easier said than done, of course. Um, like, you may think I am a fool for how easily I lose life, but I dare you to also play this game and uh, discover that you lose a life no matter what you do. Uh, you lose hit points no matter what you do because a small pebble getting dislodged from the ceiling is enough to instantly kill you. Come on, where's that boulder? Yeah, that's right. Come on. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I should have waited for those to go. Okay. Let's do that again, but less stupidly this time. Okay. I, I lied! More stupidly that time, but less stupidly this time. Not only are the hitboxes in this game completely brutal, but also the game itself is just like, oh, you got hit by something tiny and meaningless? A leaf scratched you? Well, um, that's cringe. Die. So, like, the struggle here is literally that a tiny pebble falling from the roof is enough to completely finish me off for good. Eh. No, I want the boulder. Oh, balls. I don't want the boulder! I think it should be fine. I just have to pause and let the uh, stalactites fall before I go. It's just that the hitboxes are so perplexing that I can't say that I'm doing a very good job of that right now. So you just have to trigger the stalactites into falling and then slowly wiggle your way up the slope. <laughs> he does not control the speed at which he dies. Hard agree. No! My butt! My ass! How do I- like, you see it wobbling. And then, can I like, jump off this cliff? Yeah, like that. Haha! -ha! It literally sounds like he's got like a ruler on the edge of the desk and is slapping it. Buenos dias, Tintin! Hard agree. Alright, where's the next one? Come on. I can't believe that didn't kill me. I thought it was going to scratch my hand and then I'd die of, I don't know, stalactitis. Come here. That's right, motherfucker. Is there another one? Guys, I don't know where we're going, but we are going there. And then you let this rock go. And then presumably something happens after that, I don't know. I'll figure that part out. Aha! Uh -huh. Go. Get rid of that stupid thing. Haha! Uh Haha! -huh. Uh -huh. Wait, how did I do this last time? No! Oh yeah, that's <laughs> good. I should probably fucking save. I think we're almost there. Because the whole point was that we should uh, follow Snowy. I almost called him Snowy. Alright, it was like... C and up last time to try and climb a slope. <laughs> yes! Dog! No! Bad dog! Okay, we're good. <gasps> Guys! Pog is in chat! We did it! Oh, so I could have just come in the other way the entire time. Oh, fuck it. Man, these are some good reproductions of the original panels, though. Alright. Thank you for the poggers, everybody! Ah, oh, I can hear his little voice. Thank you, thank you, thank you! 
I can't believe we got sidetracked on that entire get a life thing and then we ran out of time so getting a life became completely moot. Actually, I can believe it. I mean, I always thought that this point of the book had a bit of tenuous logic because he's just sees a scarf and he's just like, you know what? There's no chance that other people, had, including all the stuff from the crash, has caused that scarf to be up there. No, um, definitely Chang's scarf. I haven't seen Chang in years. He probably owns that scarf. I'm going to climb up this cliff face now and nearly die. It's sheer lunacy, but I'll go with you. That's whenever me and my friends come with you. He did cut. Okay, you're right. He came to Tibet to save- Oh my god. Came to Tibet to save Chang's life because of a dream. You're right. This guy is clearly just doing whatever the fuck- Wait. What? What? Oh, now I can switch characters. I can switch characters. However, uh... I don't really understand what is happening here. <laughs> Um, okay, unhook, unhook, like, I, I want to understand, but I just don't. Um, what? Dude, move, okay. He was just standing there, staring intently at the ground, holding his his rope in a very weird and uncomfortable way. Do we have to go up and around? I don't even know what sinking your pickaxe in does, I just feel like it's a good thing to do. Phallic rope grasping when you're tied to your best homie. It'd be like that. Is that Stun's position to launch him up? Maybe. I... Look, uh, I'm learning this at the same speed you guys are. Um, bit, 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 bit. Yeah, I'm guessing you can't climb the snow. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> I killed both of us. Oops. So... Yeah, it looks like if somebody falls off due to stupidity, you can put the other person on a ledge and pull them up. Which is an interesting way of interpreting the game, but also kind of hilarious, not gonna lie. Okay, let's put me up on this platform. Come on, mate. Unhook. Let's go. Maybe I do have to swing- oh my god, I have to swing him, don't I? I don't- can somebody make this into a reaction image, but I don't know what the reaction image is, and also this image makes me viscerally uncomfortable. I... I'm kind of lost for words, actually. <laughs> anyway, up <laughs> I'll, uh, you know, I'll ignore that. Okay, continuing on. It's the look on his face with the sort of, oh, look, that's really, really killing me. I think it- I think I have to swing my boy. I think I have, must swing him. I'll put Tintin up on this ledge and I'll launch Haddock over there. I- uh, Um, yeah, post it in the Discord, maybe. Uh... No, I want to be down here. Yep. Alright, Haddock. We're heading to greener pastures, let's go. Come on, mate. No! Swing, 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 and... Yes! 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 Did you see that? Oh, balls. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> no. Bad. Come on, Tintin. Did you see that skillful game maneuver? Oh, is Haddock gonna make a weird face too? I'm not ready for this. Wait, how do I? Uh huh. <laughs> oh god! Oh fuck! <laughs> I'm just gonna save here because I'm gonna sit here and laugh at this for a while, and I don't want to waste time. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look at the look in his eyes. Oh my fucking god. When you and your homies pee streams freeze together. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay. Alright, I, I, I'm done. Let's just... Uh, <laughs> come on, little buddy. Come on, little man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm gonna cry. It's not that funny. It's not that funny, but here I am. Oh, nope. Thank you. Alright, let's get... Uh, <laughs> let's get... Normally the sprites in this game is so good. What happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the coughing, it's cold out. I'm not not sick. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just transfixed. Oh my god. Come on, mate. I know, it's just the worst possible pose. Like it I wanna be in the meeting where they were like, okay guys, time to do this. Time to do the sprites for time to do the sprites for the bit where they're climbing up the fucking mountain, um, and when they're holding the rope and they've got to yeah the sprites are beautiful the sprites look great but what the fuck is that pose? They were in the meeting and they were like oh man we gotta what's the most natural way and least suggestive way to hold a rope when you're holding on to your dear friend's life and your rope is tied around your waist let's just oh boy let's <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's back again. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. <laughs> Come on, mate. I think you've had enough. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this fucking face! <laughs> Look at the the cold, empty look in his beady eyes! Oh my god! Uh, I feel simultaneously like like the violator and the violatee in, in this situation. situation. This, this is, is me and the boys, boys on, on, a, on a Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday night. There's about a thousand different things that make the whole thing just... Oh wait, they're act uh, uh, their actual tears in my eyes. Uh, you guys can't see them, but trust me, they're there. Uh, I feel like I could just throw up laughing. Oh my fucking god. Okay, can I climb over this bit of snow? Yeah. Alright, let's make our way. Nope! Ah! Just, have, have I got, got the reverb? reverb? Oh no! It's not, it's not intentional. It's not intentional. Uh, I'm trying to focus on playing the game, but I can't stop thinking about Haddock's horrified little face. Balls. Am I still reverby? Tell me the truth. No! No! It's... What? No! You're right, it is the fact that the, only the rope is moving just slightly. Um, why is the reverb happening? Um... Um... This is, yeah, this is actually modern art. You're welcome. Come on, mate. They are, in fact, sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> Band, band, band. None of you are free of sin. I don't actually know what to do about the reverb because I have no idea what's- No! The umbilical piss string of destiny is what I'm getting from you guys right now. Oh, by the way, I've scheduled the stream so that it's just this time every Wednesday, or well, for me, Tuesday for y'all. Um, if you guys want to come back, plug and unplug Mike, maybe. Hold on.
If you go climbing in the mountains and you don't bring your piss string of destiny, what are you doing? Why are you there? I'm from a country that's mostly mountains. I understand this. Perhaps better than you ever will. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah, I just unplugged it and plugged it back in again. AKA the gentleman's solution to all technological issues. What if I swing over there instead? <laughs> I just... I'm just trying to cut corners here. Okay, that's not gonna... That's not gonna work and we're gonna die! Okay, we're good. Sweet. No! Sorry, Tinted. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. Every time! Okay, I'm definitely. Uh, okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll keep playing the game, I promise. Come on, little buddy. You and you and Haddock are bound together by destiny and also the string of umbilical cord that holds you together. You were not born brothers, but became brothers through the string. String. What happens if I go that way? By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. I'm just, you know. Sometimes you just gotta fuck around and find out. <laughs> They do have good upper arm strength, and I say this as somebody whose arms are made out of cheese string. I, I suppose it actually helps in Tintin's case to have good upper arm strength when um, you probably weigh like 50 kilos. <laughs> and you're like 5 foot 2. At that point you're just built like a monkey. Come on, lads. The twisted string of destiny holds you together. Come on. Here we go. Oh, did you see that? That was some... Whew! That was some good gaming. I'm saving that. I'm sorry, I gotta say goodbye to the... Oh boy, I gotta say goodbye to the faces. Uh... Oh, there's a platform over there. Don't worry, they can... Oh, wow, shit. You hear me making all these bold claims about what an amazing gamer I am and then I just immediately fuck it up. Well... <laughs> Wait. How long have I been able to climb on the snow? Okay. <laughs> Take back your poggers, friend. I was a fool. I still don't understand how someone- here we go, are you guys ready? <laughs> Even if he's not holding the rope, he's just standing there nervously holding his crotch. Look, he looks terrified. The mountain is a dangerous place for your nads. They do have matching sweaters, it's because they're buddies. Do I just- yeah, I just die if I do that, okay. And attach? Okay. Whoop! Fuck. If the rope gets fully taut, then the, uh, other person- then they, then you fall off. I would also be worried about protecting my nads this far up on a cliff, but I feel like in the priority list, la nads is relatively low down. Also, I hate the word nads. <laughs> nads Mickelson. Yeah, you hold that. Sentence getting the wiggles. What happens if I just let go? Let me go. Nah. I want to go over there. I wish to swing to that side. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. Okay. 
10 10, take a rest. Which is good because I just launched Haddock. Oh boy. That was dumb. Okay. Yeah, you hold on to that, buddy. Let's keep moving. I don't doubt that I can swing across, but again, although I actually quite like the sort of creativity of this level, it's not any less perplexing controls-wise than any other... Oh, the, uh, any other level. Uh, so I'm still kind of just wrestling with uh, everything. Hitboxes, uh, buttons to press, and when to press them. Imagine this in co-op. Um, this would be like a, a speedrun to a divorce in co-op, in my opinion. But maybe I'm being cynical. And maybe I'm not married. Alright, Tintin. You hold on to there very tightly. Haddock. Come on. How old is Haddock? He's like a fucking old ass ex-alcoholic slash current alcoholic motherfucker. How is he not dead? Climbing a mountain's hard. Let me over there. Come on. Come on, King. No, okay, that's not gonna work. How about that? Come on, King. Middle aged? Yeah, I assume middle aged as well. Like, he's just kind of that generic age that men are. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything. Maybe I have to go down to swing across. Also, this is gonna be a. Climb up, climb up, climb. No! Ah! Okay. What if Haddock goes down onto that next area, then we climb up? Like, I assume so, but like, I would say that of the many people that could go to space, Haddock is a relatively poor candidate because he's just. I've never gotten the impression looking at him that he's particularly hearty. Anyway, I'm about to fall off this cliff and die because uh, I'm completely on snow and there's nothing to be done for it. I always thought that, like, yeah, I could, I could see sending Tintin to the moon because, you know, he's a young and fit and he's apparently unkillable, uh, or very killable depending on the game, and uh, I could, yeah, you could take him to the moon. Calculus? No. Why would you send the person in charge of the mission? Like, I know you want to go to the mountain, but... I know... <laughs> the mountain. I know you want to go to the moon, dude, but you are way too old and important and crusty to be going to space. And, just saying, I just... Haddock is a hardy guy. Yeah, sailors are pretty tough, but... I just kind of got the impression that specifically Haddock, because he's got, like, skinny legs and, and as I said, a drink... Oh my god. A drinking problem. I just kind of figured that he specifically was kind of not that strong, uh... strong of a constitution, but... I just feel like the second that they start running some basic tests on you to determine whether you can go to the moon uh, safely, they'd be like, oh man, this guy is ugh, a bit crusty. He's wearing a sweatband, you're right. Oh my god, okay. He's, he's just vibing. He's living his best life. Can you not respect that? Come on, Tintin. Yeah! Skills? He does go where Tintin goes. Whether he likes it or not. I feel like we're getting somewhere. I might save here, which may be my downfall, but I'll do it. Oh no, Tintin! No! It's a good thing that I saved right before I extremely stupidly did whatever that was. <laughs> yeah, I noticed when, t when Tintin- oh boy. When Tintin fell in the river before, he his hair looked like it was blonde hair and it made me realize how much I'm glad Tintin doesn't have blonde hair. <laughs> Come on up you go, you little monkey. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is less than ideal. No! Balls. Alright, I'm starting to understand why they nearly died in the in the book. In this pit. Um 
Okay, we're boned. Ready for the noise? There we go. He does look a little bit like Macaulay Culkin, doesn't he? I hate that for him. Alright. Alright, gotta play this smart. Also, how big is this fucking cliff? Alright. Go on, little dude. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Just don't be stupid and we can do this. Friendship time. We're just two bros chilling on the side of this mountain face. Connected by an umbilical cord. Of destiny. It's like the red string of destiny, but it's like... Grosser. And it comes out of your crotch. I really hope this is the right way or I'm fucked. Oh, yeah, they just kind of fall off. Uh, okay, I think I have to swing across to there. I actually really like the mechanics of this bit, even though, that, though they are annoying, because, like, the angle you're on when you fall off is relative to how much you swing. Like, you are kind of having to work hard on it. Ah! We going up. You hold on. You let go. Come here. Hold on. Climb up. Hold on. No. Nah. Oh yeah, save. <laughs> Don't want to have to do all that shit again. Come on, mate. I am concentrating so hard right now. I'm not even thinking about Haddock and the umbilical cord. I am, but I'm not thinking about it too much. Come on. Ugh. I need to start swearing like Haddock so that I can get around senses. Except for half of his swearing's a cut. Half of his swearing is kind of. not very modern. I'm gonna say that some of the things he says are really racist, but I think that's not unsurprising given that, that it's an old comic. Basically, I refuse to say about 50% of it. You got the umbilical cord? Yeah, we got the umbilical cord. Okay, I have a quarter of the quarter of time left, but I feel like I'm really getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think I was just supposed to swing across on that bit, but I found it too hard. So I did the long way. Come on, we can do it, kings. More like superlative insults, it's true. But at the moment all I've got is saying balls whenever something happens, and that's, you know, I could get more creative than that. I'm a person of words. I write essays. Surely I can think of something better than balls. Come on, kings. <gasps> Is that a time extension? Please! Please, I need that! Ah! Yes! Blistering balls! <laughs> Billions of blistering balls. No! Is this not the right way to go? Ah! I mean, I got the time bonus, but that's li- Oh, balls. <laughs> I got the time bonus, but that's literally no good to me if I'm in the wrong goddamn place. Unless I'm supposed to go across here. Come on, Haddock. Let's get that look on your face. I could swing across here. But isn't this where I was before? Oh my god, okay. Right. Right, let's swing across. Eh. Is this not where I was before? <laughs> oh man. Am I where I was before? Oh no. Oh no. N yeah, okay. okay, okay. 
I sound like I'm gently consoling myself and it's because I am. <laughs> it's another time trap, I believe so. Ah, nuts. Huh? What? Are we... are we getting somewhere? Maybe not. I don't want to be time trapped. That sounds bad. I don't like that. That sounds really bad. I want to be like, oh. I want to be finishing the level. That sounds like the thing I want to do. Well, that was dumb. All right. You're right, mate. Come on. You need to go further up to swing across. Right, just time for two bros. Two bros sharing an umbilical cord. Yeah. Whoopsie. Oh, balls. Billions of blue blistering balls. That is kind of satisfying to say, actually. We recommend you try it at home. Unless you're under 18, in which case don't try it at home. I suppose it doesn't really matter if they gave us a time trap because I'm too much of a dingus to figure this one out anyway. Come on, let's... Hacha! Well, that was stupid. Can it stand infinitely on the platform? Yeah, I, I know that. It's You can stand infinitely on the platforms, I'm pretty sure, but the issue is more along the lines of, uh, where am I going? But yeah, once if you stand there with it stabbed in, you do eventually get tired, and that's when you fall. If it doesn't look like I'm getting anywhere, it's because I'm not. Well, that was... You good down there, buddy? How's it going? <laughs> Two bros chilling on the umbilical cord five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up to where I felt like I had some control over my destiny. So this feels like the side of the level. Is it the side? Oh, well, that was unintentional. So the person who mapped this level- oh boy. The person who mapped this level was someone who- Although they did this uh, 25 years before I ever, ever played this game, I think that when they mapped this level they thought, man, Ampton's gonna play this one day, let's make him fucking suffer. I was about to say, this is one of my favourite levels so far, and then I realised that um, I went the wrong way, and that instead of getting where I want to go, I have to watch Haddock anxiously hold his crotch the entire time. Whoosh! Oh. <laughs> Billions of blue blistering balls. I was pressing the wrong button. Okay. There we go. Come on, you nervous little crotch holder. Let's do this. Infinite snow to the right. I think we need to move back down and across. I, I'm assuming that it, the top of the level is where we want to be, just sort of based on my understanding of the world as we know it. Oh, shit. Nah! Like, I, I feel like up there is the way to go, but maybe I only feel that way because I'm near it and I'm desperate. But also I can't figure out how to swing across- ugh. Don't ask what that noise was, because I don't know. It's really hard to tell when you're about to slip and fall off. Like there. Haddock, don't give up on me now. Haddock gave up on me. Or well, I gave up on me by being st stupid and hitting the wrong thing. Um, we going down, sugar. Let's go back to where we were before. Come on, Haddock. Come on, sweetie. Come on, honey. Everything's gonna be fine. You get to the top of the mountain, it'll all be fine. It'll all be beautiful. We live in a beautiful world where nothing is wrong. You just gotta climb a little further, King. Gotta stand there in that pose 
No, I wanted to. There we go. In that pose, thinking about life. Hell yeah. Come here, king. Your crown is slipping. There we go. Just right. Come on. You climb up here. You hook on there. I'm just going to save it because I'm sick of doing that same jump. And Tintin, you're going this way and then you're going to... Or maybe you're not. Who am I to read your mind and tell you what to do? Fuck, I'm getting hungry. Um, this is about to end very badly. Let's just... Just a little, little bit further up as a treat. Right, Tintin, you need to go up here and then just... Or maybe don't do that, I don't know. Oh jeez, that wasn't on purpose. Moving up and right for as long as you can. Yeah, I agree, but I tried that and the problem is, is that I think that's about as far right in the level as we... Why did you just fall off, King? Let's just do the nervous pose, mate. Do it. Oh yeah. Oh, he looks more like he's a, got a look of wonder than ner than headache's nervousness. Okay, let's give this a go. He's like, oh, this is new. Oh, I'm so fucking close. Go, jump, hold on to it. Alright, we go up, we go across, we go up, we go across. Dude, just grab on! Bro! Bro, you're there! Oop. Time is running out, kings. I don't know why there's a time limit, but time is running out. No, you gotta keep going, King. I don't know why I keep calling them Kings. I've been hanging out too much with my TikTok friends. No, I don't have a TikTok, but uh, uh, I have a lot of friends who are on TikTok because uh, I'm cool and hip and trendy and I know people. Come on. I just want to know if this works. Like, it's part of the reason I'm sticking. Yes! Go, King! Time is up, but I feel like I may have learned something, maybe? Oh boy. I'm out of time, but I know where I'm doing. Maybe. I'm out of time, but I'm living the Pogger's life. Okay. Come on, we can do it in one take this time. No. Bad. Come on, Tintin. Climb up. Yeah, there are actually, like, people who have done, like, good playthroughs of this game online. I'm just not one of those people. Yeah, let's, uh, reload that. I pride myself on being, um, entertaining, not on being skilled. It is a strangely foreboding times up screen, isn't it? Like, rather than being like, oh, hee hee hoo hoo, the time's a little and up, it's just like, oh yeah, you... You ran out of time, and you died, and now you're dead. The leather desi level design is also bothering me. <laughs> yes, you may have noticed. All right, come on, come on, king, come on. Come on, my little short king, let Haddock swing across. Ah, not quite far enough. Okay, I think he needs to be more... Oh, fuck. Let me just... Come on. What you gonna do about her, dead boy? 
Like, calculus has only appeared in this game for just an instant at one moment, and that's it. And it's just like, is he the harbinger of death? Is he like the tower card in the tarot? Like, it's concerning. What does he want from me? Haddock? Hold on tighter. Yeah. This is a two-man team. Can't have you slacking off. Hey. No. Climb. Climb. Yes, I have started treating them like puppies, because I don't know how- Oh no, Haddock, no! King, don't do this to me! Okay, we good. Up. Climb up. There's no way I'm gonna do this in time. I was gonna- it's- if the snow is thin across enough, you can just climb across it, can you? <laughs> I haven't seen that so far, but... Come on, Tintin. Up here. Across a little bit. Across. Sink. No, I said... Again, I don't know why I'm talking to him like I am. Has to be super thin. Okay, so if it's like a skinny little streak, then it should be all good. By the way, I have no idea if this is slang in other countries, but skinny little streak or weasel piss is like an expression to say that somebody's super thin. And I've been making fun of my brother for the last several days, so uh, skinny little streak is firmly in my vocabulary. Is, is skinny little streak a phrase in other countries? I always get confused as to what is and isn't a New Zealand thing. Don't give up, king. I feel like all countries have some interesting special little phrases that only they use. Oh, ten ten. The real question is, am I, am I American? I haven't heard that. I feel like yeah, every country's got its own weird little thing that it says that they say, and New Zealand has a lot of them because I guess we've got that sort of farmer's vocabulary. <laughs> okay, we climbing, we climbing. <gasps> no, I just need to hook on. Get Tintin down here. And then... Am I going the right way? I don't know, but I'm going somewhere. Okay, we're back to this uncomfortable, uh, sort of, uh, what did I call it before? The umbilical piss cord of destiny moment? It's that. Alright. Hook on. Yeah. Come on. Okay, so dude grabbed the time up first. Well, that's what I did, but uh... I mean, I imagine this dude's significantly... Latch on. Tintin's getting tired. Wait, what? Oh, that was dumb. That was very dumb. That was dangerous. Can you hook on to just the ice? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm good. This is not the most thrilling music on earth. Um... You stand on this little platform here, King. Go on. Don't do that. Tintin's getting tired. Respect your homies. Somewhere in the top left. The top left? <laughs> That's not where I am. <laughs> I'm in the top right. Well, I guess I'm sort of around the middle. I would like to be in the top left. Um, this is a bad sign. I'm grabbing the timer and moving left. Maybe this is a good sign. Anyway, come here, you little weirdo. Crotch-holding motherfucker. Come here. Sorry if you can hear a helicopter flying over. That's just how it is on this bitch of an earth. 
I think I'm close too, but so the time is also close to running out. I would like to finish this level today because we're already at four o'clock and I just, you know, I like, I like bookends. I like things to feel complete. No, King? Can I do it in time? I think I missed or I wasted a lot of time at the start there, like, talking about umbilical cords, mayhaps. Why is that thing so hard to stand on? Yeah, max swing is something that I've noticed as being important. Wait. Hold your crotch, mate. Okay, Tintin, let's... Time is running out. Let's... I'm getting there. Okay, if we just get up to that platform up there. Oh, that time is so close. <laughs> and not in a good way. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, you little man. Right. No. This. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright. It's four o'clock. I scheduled in two hours, so I think we'll come back next week when I've calmed down a little bit and I'm not as apoplectically angry. Let's say that. No, it's fine. Thank you all for coming here. I'll be here next week, same time, two hours, struggling my way through this life and through this game. It's been really good chatting to you guys, actually. Okay. Alright, see ya. See ya next week. Let's stop streaming.